paying attention to that stream. And with that being said, let's send this over to our buddy Paul to talk about machining. Okay, so we've got a, uh, a world premiere to show you now here on the Akuma stand. Um, but before we do, Errol, you're from England. Yeah, uh, a, a small town or a city called Preston in Lancashire. Yeah, I've been here for 16 years. And we just found out talking literally 30 seconds ago that we used to work at the same company between 2004 and 2006. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we'll stop digressing. Let's talk about this world premiere, Errol. What, what have Akuma now introduced? Uh, what we're introducing now is the Genus M560 5AX. By now, everyone should know what the uh, 465 AX is, which was our version of an affordable five axis, which has been very, very successful. I think you've already talked about it. One of the actual feedbacks that we're getting, they, they always wanted it. We love the machine, but can we get something bigger? This is it. This is the 565 AX. Yeah, we, we did look at the 460 recently, and uh, it is a popular machine from, from the continent that I'm from as well. Um, what I want to find out is obviously the differences between that and the enhancements that's, that's been made. Before we do, if you've got any questions for Errol or for me uh, during this stream, then of course put them into whichever social platform you're watching in. I'm sure we won't be able to cover everything, so please do ask. Um, Errol, some of the highlights then. What's good about it? Well... We know about the strengths uh, of the actual 5AX. It's the same bridge style construction, but what we've done on this machine, we've, been, uh, we've uh, in extended the travels on the Y axis by 100 millimeters from 460 to 560. We've extended the travel on the X travel from 760 to uh, 1050 millimeters. And also we've, we've incorporated a bigger platen or a bigger table to 500, 400 millimeters to 500 millimeters. Uh, the, t the tool length, maximum length, is it now can um, accommodate 400 millimeters. Okay, so, so what, we're, what we're finding out here is it's a, it's a bigger machine, but what I want to get into the detail of is what Akuma say uh, is good about the way this machine is built, because I was just talking to you about this, this y-axis here and how this moves, the table moves on, uh, on the base of the machine right. rather than a ram. Why, why do you guys go with that? So our if, and if you just move in there again. So our philosophy is why we use a bridge style is the fact is that this bridge style is stay static, but the only part of the movement part of, of the spindle is on the X travel. So as opposed to going on a Y axis style ram or a C axis frame where the Y axis moves, you can get you can't avoid physics. You are going to get some slight cantilever. You may get some vibration. This can move in as far as it wants along this Y direction on the table and we're not going to get any vibration or any, or any, or, or any loss or any taper. Uh, a chunky table, supported both sides as well, that helps? Yeah, we've got a, we have a, uh, a bearing on one side and we have an iPod uh, gear system on this side and an iPod gear system on the C axis as well. Um, in all your years, one of the best five axis machines that you've ever uh, had the pleasure to be able to try and sell? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> Get you in trouble. Yeah, no, this is uh, in its class. I don't really see many out there on the market like this. It's built like this uh, and that's actually be as reliable. Uh, Can I afford it though? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we've really done really good on the pricing on here. So as far as like all the options, we put a five axis kit together. So everything you need to actually you uh, use it as a five axis machine right out of the gate just press the button everything's already there okay now we are pretty short for time there's just one more thing yeah. i want to touch on errol um is this intelligent technologies we will talk to your colleague uh will about these as well in a minute but just give us a very quick overview of what these are and how they help on this five axis machine all right so all you see is these little images here uh this one is five axis this one is like servo servo navi uh th this what one servo navi do Servo Navi, what this one does, it uses harmonics and vibration to actually uh, eliminate uh, chatter and vibration. So it detects also, that itself. And also what it also does, it also um, tunes the drives. So if you're machining a lot of machine away, you're not going to need the same gains and drives on the motors. So what it does, it tunes the drives to actually accommodate the actual lighter weight on the machine. 
Okay, so there's plenty of other factors involved in the quality of this machine other than the hardware that we've talked about. Uh, definitely worth visiting the Akuma stand here at IMTS or talking to Akuma wherever you are in the world about this new five-axis machine. We've seen it first. It's a world premiere. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Errol. I'm going to hand back over to Tony now who's looking at uh, an automation solution. If I've said it once, Paul, I've said it a thousand times, just like you, automation, automation, automation. How important is automation and what are we looking at here? Because this is a significant setup, isn't it? It is. So what we have is our horizontal machine center, MB5000, and over here we're connected to a Fastum system. This is a tower APC style that's made by Fastums. It's a new design and you can fit up to uh, 18 pallets into this system. 18 pallets into this system done by Fast Tims, but how many partners, I believe it's nine yeah. partners can integrate, and that's including or not including the fact that Akuma does a lot of this stuff as well in, internally. That's right. We've done automation with this Fast Tims, uh, company for over 20 years. We have a uh, system where we can integrate this system within two days. We did this, this whole entire installation. Um, and our customers really appreciate that. They want their machine in, on the shop floor running as fast as possible. How many people do you think would like to make more money but do less work? Yeah, I think there's a few. <laughs> <laughs> and so when we think about that, obviously it's a jest of a joke and having fun, but this is a beautiful setup here and it's integrated and I think the word we should use is seamlessly, right? Because a lot of times when we're working with partners out there, the communication between one thing to the next thing may have a, hic a hiccup, right? right? But with this and with you guys, you've been doing it for so long that it is a seamless operation. And what happens when you test this out and it gets to the job floor for the customer? When it gets to the customer, they're going to install it and have it up and running quickly. I'm talking within two days. And that's you need that. When, if you're running a machine shop, you need the spindle running. You don't want it sitting around. We have these systems available where you don't have to, you can, if you don't need this Fastum system on here, and you're a growing company, you realize you need this, you can integrate it at any point. You can add it on the machine at any time. And, if, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, because I have a lot of numbers to remember, and you're always a pro, my friend. But your just your Fast Tim's relationship goes to 20 years or more, doesn't it? Isn't that the reliability a customer wants to hear about instead of saying, "Oh, I just tried this yesterday and I think it's going to work"? Yeah, we've been working with them, like you said, for 20 over 20 years. They have over a thousand systems connected to our Akuma machines, and they have great sales, service, support, and that's what a customer needs. So automation is something we talk about all the time. But if you remember the start of this live stream, it was a lot about partners as well. And I'm going to send this over to Paul to talk about another piece of technology. But before I do, I'd like my cameraman to zoom in on this button. And I'm going to have Paul describe what that means, which goes right back to the beginning. When we talk automation, what does that button mean? That button is something that we came up with in one of our previous shows. That witty, W-I-T-A, means what's important to you. That's what we value. We are important, our customers are important to us, and that's something we always ask them. What's important to you? What is important to you? Paul, take it away, my friend. So I had to run across to the other side of the stand. Uh, 17,000 square feet, this stand, 15 machines. There's no bigger stand in, uh, in the uh, exhibition. I'm sure Tony's already mentioned that. Another world premiere. Uh, Will Young, tell us about this machine that we've got here. Uh, it's the VT-1000. This machine was specifically designed to take heavy cuts on hard materials. Uh, aerospace, ink and L's, Wasp Boys, stuff like that. Now, it's been up, it, it, it's it's a new model, but there was a, a kind of a previous model. This has got a lot more power uh, to it, hasn't it? Just just talk us through, you know, some of those characteristics which make it be able to do what you're suggesting. Correct. Yeah, this started as a we started with the VTM 100 model, um, wasn't quite up to what the customer wanted, so we developed this model. Uh, we increased the torque, the thrust, the horsepower, the spindle. Um, wider box ways on this machine. We just really supersized it, beefed it up to take take those heavy cuts. And, and you've shown in an illustration here. Maybe could you pick those um, little uh, cups up there to show some of the cuts you're doing? The, the rough trimming chips that we made um, using sandpick inserts, 80 degree roughing insert, 650 thousandths depth of cut, 32 thou per rev. Okay, so. now if you visit the show here at IMTS, you'd be able to come on the Akuma stand and see this and talk to Will in more detail. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions about this machine, why would you use one? Then, of course, now is the time to ask. Will, I'm going to ask you that. That's one from me. Why do you use a vertical lathe? Why wouldn't you put that on a horizontal lathe? 
you got big heavy parts, it's hard to turn those things up sideways and, and hold them horizontally. So um, using a vertical aid, they got gravity on your side to help hold the parts in place and keep them steady. Swarf fall away. Swarf fall away, chip fall away. Yeah, we could get a thousand PSI cooling on here is gonna help with that too. It's gonna keep all the chips blasted out of the way and and, and then your tool carousel on here. I mean, I noticed since I was here earlier, you've obviously changed changed the tool. What have you got? How many tools have you got? What are the what are the options for people there? Well, it's a Capto C8 connection, come standard. We've got 1,000 PSI through the tool. Uh, 36 tool ATC as well, come standard. Right, now one of the big things about the Akuma uh, brand is their control system and their software. I just want to have you know, maybe maybe a minute on this or, or less, Will, as to some of the features that your control offers. Yeah. Uh, the OSB control, it's an Akuma control. We make all the parts for our machines, including the control. Um, it's very powerful, and it's it's, uh, it's also Windows-based, which is a lot, very very nice for a lot of people. So, Is there a couple of screens you can just uh, push, uh, show us, that yep. you know, things that people can do? So a lot of just simple things on here that we have that I think are real nice, standard features. Uh, because it is Windows-based, we've got a calculator app on here. If you need to do any quick calculations, a lot easier than pulling out your phone. Um, there's a tech calculator here as well for calculating speeds and feeds, and cuts like that. We've also compared our manuals on here. So every manual in the machine is on here. It's a PDF format. Um, I can call these things up, open up PDF. I can search it, same as on my computer. Set of uh, manuals in the shop that always seem to get lost. Nobody uh, can ever find them. Diagnosing issues, reporting back to HQ and stuff like that? Yep. Control. Yep. You don't have to show me now, but it's something it can do. Yeah, we can diagnose issues on here. If you have an alarm on this machine, there's a help button down here. We can call that up. It's going to open up the DLR manual. Um, help you diagnose what's going on and okay, now, you. I was talking to Errol about the five axes. I just want to ask you quickly, can you just maybe talk about a couple of these intelligent technologies that Akuma offers? Because it's really important in the solution of your machine. And perhaps tell us about the top one. What is the it? The top one, that's our thermal um, thermal active stabilizer. So there's sensors all around the machine, built into the casting and throughout the machine, around the spindles. Um, the sense of change in temperature. Obviously, the change of temperature is causing things to move around. Um, so what we could do in the background of the control is it's sensing those temperature changes and it's compensating the machine to help hold size. Okay, we can't go through them all now, but I do just want to ask you about that one too, because that's quite important. Yeah, it's artificial intelligence on the ball screw. So it's a, a predictive technology to help. Um, just to keep it, uh, well, to keep the machine positionally accurate and so. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's checks for wear on the ball screw. It helps tell you before you have a problem. Great stuff. Uh, so there you have it. It's a quick overview of the VT1000EX, a world premiere here at IMTS. Any questions on this machine, either come to this stand or you can ask them through our channels. Uh, I'm going to hand you back over to Tony now, who's looking at an absolute beast. Oh, hello there. Oh, what? This? Yeah, this massive monster, because you know how big I am, can fit inside of this machine, the Akuma MA8000H, which is America's debut, and we're going to learn a bit more about this machine with my buddy Ron. Ron, how are we? Let's talk about this monster. All right, let's do it. What do you want to know? I want to know everything. The audience wants to know everything. Your machines just keep growing. What, what magic medicine are you sprinkling on these things to make them grow? We just changed how we do business on this one. We went from the MA80 to the MA800, now we're into the MA1000 series. So this is all of the stuff that we've learned over the years, making it better and better. Bigger and bigger, better and better, right? So let's talk about some of these specs. It's very obvious when I look at this, that it's pretty big part. So let's talk about weight. Let's talk about RPM. Let's talk about feed rates. A lot of people out there go, well, yeah, that's a big machine, but I bet it moves real slow. That is not the case. Let's yeah. talk about some of these details. The rapid traverse is like 1,960 uh, inches a minute. The table weight 6,600 pounds. The spindle is 10K, 60 horsepower. I mean, everything about it's just gotten better over the years. The way we've redesigned the interior for getting the chips out, that gives it more productivity just by doing nothing. It sits there and just washes itself off. So when I look at this machine, I think if that is going to be as big as what we started this uh, interview with, there's no way I could run a heavy material, but that is not the case. We're not just machining aluminum in here. Yeah. We have the rigidity, we have the horsepower, and we have the weight limits to take on just about, if not all materials, don't yes, we? Sir. This thing weighs 73,000 pounds. You know, and then we got 68 TC, we can go to 285 or 400. 
That is amazing. Let's take one moment to talk about the amount of tools it can hold. Because if I'm running a part this big, I would say it's a slim chance I'm only running two, one or two end mills, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Like <laughs> this part right here, this vacuum chamber, it's about 14 tools just for basic roughing. You know, so we can go again, larger pallet pulls we can do, things like that. So you can always get more and more. Well, you mentioned just now larger pallet pulls, and that was going to be my next question. So well done being able to see the future. Uh, this one purposely right now is, I believe, just two, right? Like kind of like a standard tombstone yep. style. Yep. But how many can we get when it comes to pallet change on a machine this big? We can do six of a Kuma APC to pallet pull to 12, and then we can go with the Fastums or other Daifuku systems up to 130, 140 pounds. Well, this is America's debut for the machine this big, but I also think it's important to touch just briefly, if that's okay, for the audience out there that's still learning about horizontal machining, okay. the importance of machining at that side angle on a horizontal level. Because, yeah, I'm going to say it, I could say it, I'm going to let you say it. Some of the audience doesn't realize we're still learning. What are the benefits of machining from a horizontal side? I mean, basically, you got four verticals, you know, so you can index one part, move to the next part, and next part. Then each time you do it, or you can do simultaneous because it's a full B axis also. And what about the direction that the coolant and the chips go? What does that help us do? Well, that gets all the chip evacuation so you don't recut chips. Your tool life goes up, the drain it apart so you don't have a big bucket with a bunch of water in it. <laughs> we don't want a big bucket with a lot of water, and I promise you that. But also extended tool life better finishes. Anytime we can evacuate the chips like that, we're shaving, saving even the machine spindle because we're not being in places where chips have built up, right? Yes, right in the corners, if you look inside the machine, we've changed how the structure is so we can get the chips out and we have less chance of having any damage to the covers. That is absolutely perfect. I love and appreciate everything that you've discussed with our team today. For everyone who's watching, thank you so much as we look around to all the hundreds of people on the Akuma booth, just super excited of what Akuma is offering. And let's not forget the partnerships that they have around the country and around the world with those companies. Thank you all for watching. Check out the Akuma booth. This is IMTS 2022, day two. Thank you again.